Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be for Gems. How are you guys doing today? Gemini's, welcome, welcome back to the book contact read. This is about the person that you're thinking about, the person that's thinking about you. Um, go ahead and flip the roles if necessary. Energy is fluid and it might just come out in reverse. Cross watchers are also welcome to the channel. Thank you guys for all your support and love. I see the comments, the likes, the shares, everything. So thank you, thank you. Um, go ahead and like this video if it does resonate with you or if it doesn't, you can show your support as well. YouTube, do you see what you're doing? They push the videos forward in a bigger audience and the videos grow, the channel grow. All the information for personals will be in the description box knowing that this is a general read and not a personal one you guys so take what resonates and throw out the rest um donations are also welcome here as well you can go ahead and press the super things or you can directly send it to me all the information about that will be in the description box thank you thank you so much and let's just get into it for gemini's holy spirit holy angels holy father what is the energy Four gems. No contact energy. The person that Gemini is thinking about. The person that's thinking about gems. What is the energy? Put some lotion on my hands real quick. Realize that these cards are very drying. And it does take up a lot of moisture. But let's just see what we got for Gemini's. I hope everybody is safe, especially those of you who live in Florida or live close to Tampa or that's, it. you know, Florida itself. I feel like you guys have been going through it. Um, and those of you who live in North Carolina as well, I just hope everybody is safe. Um, and yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, peace and light to you all. Let's see. Just coming in. Just coming in with no contact. Wow, so I'm getting the nine and the ten. Look at that right off the bat. The nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. This is someone that you have invested in a lot. I feel like a lot of you have homes. This is what I'm seeing. Like you have homes or you have a family together. Because this ten of pentacles is in the upright also the nine it's like there's a lot of power here as well i'm just seeing power okay i feel like a lot of you did this like you're giving me an energy like you did this on your own so tell me more about this nine of pentacles holy spirit there was a lot of work yeah you you give me the knight of pentacles with that nine of pentacles so you're saying that it took a lot of patience a lot of work to get to where you are within this relationship tell me more then you have the knight of cups in reverse tell me more you have the seven of cups so i'm just getting there is there was some form of confusion here and i'm seeing a decision that is made tell me ooh, tell me about the knight of cups holy spirit the judgment this person was confused this person still hasn't made a permanent decision but there is some like there was some kind of confusion and i'm seeing a choice have made here but i don't feel like this person have made it public okay um this is about an offer this is about a second chance you also see major arcana aries libra that could be their sun, moon, or rising sign, or Venus sign. I'm also seeing stabbing in the back. Okay, the ten of pen, the ten of swords, which is your energy, Gemini's. You feel like you need to forgive here. You feel like you are being triggered, or you're just going through a lot, a lot of heartbreaks. And I'm seeing like you're going to need to close these chapters. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. The Lovers. This is someone that a lot of you are still sleeping with. Or um, I'm also getting another situation here that you guys are dealing with mental and physical agony because of a third party. So tell me more. 
Yeah, confusion. Someone is confused whether or not they want to spend their lives with you or want to be with someone else. Um, this Gemini energy, this twin energy, this could be someone else, you guys. It doesn't have to be you. Because I'm seeing like a home or someone that is married to someone. Like they put their sweat and blood into this relationship to make this relationship feel like a home. Okay. And, but there is some kind of change within this person's energy where this person is acting like they don't want to show you love or they're not giving you that emotional bond or connection or showing you any form of emotional interest because they have been in other places. Tell me about the Seven of Cups, Holy Spirit. Look at that, the Devil's Energy, Capricorn. Um, this person was stuck within something, and I I feel like they're they're they are making a decision. But what is going on with this judgment, Holy Spirit? This judgment here. We have the Queen of Wands energy. Huh. I feel like whatever they're going to decide is going to be someone who reminds them as a mother, someone who is very patient. Um, very nurturing, very pleasing, um, someone that is about a lot of, what is it, planting seeds or being of service, okay? I don't feel like this, I feel like they want this person to be happy, um, someone that is creative, but I just feel like everything that this person is, they want this person to kind of not kind of like focus on them and i feel like this is what they got with you in the beginning because i'm seeing like the nine of pentacles where you are still in your power though it's like you have done everything you have worked so hard to achieve everything within this relationship and i'm really moving towards a marriage here for some reason because i'm seeing you living under the same roof and it was a struggle it wasn't easy to get here this is what i'm hearing but now there is some kind of confusion, especially within the chariot, which is also major arcana with cancer. So sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign when it comes to cancer as well, you guys, for the person that you're dealing with, or this could be something in their chart, or this could be something in your chart. All right. But I'm just saying like there is, there is a confusion here in which path this person needs to take. Tell me more about this chariot, Holy Spirit. Wow. But there will be clarity. There will be truth that's coming into this within the Ace of Swords. I feel like the divine power is going to um, shift this around. Okay. There is something being done behind the scenes. Tell me more. There's a regret here. This person regret walking away from you. I'm also seeing the Eight of Swords. There is like restriction here. Tell me more. Three of Swords in reverse. Wow. The Four of Wands in reverse. The Nine of Cups in reverse. So the Eleven Eleven is also in reverse. So nothing seemed like it's moving the way it should be moving. You feel like everything is off track. Um, I'm also seeing the Three of Swords where there was a lot of hurt within a past situation as well. Not in this present situation that you are still trying to heal from and understand, but you're also bringing up a hurt that happened within the past situation and you had to, to, to heal from that. You had to forgive this, give this, this whole situation from the past. But I'm seeing like there is some kind of restriction or feeling trapped still. This could be about your self-confidence and your self-value when this person walked away. Um, I'm seeing like this person regrets that. Tell me about this eight. But it really affected you. You have this eight of swords, the ten of swords, and gems. Those are your energy. You have the star. So... <laughs> You know, things are being done behind the scenes. This person is making moves, but then you have the star here. 
the universe behind the scenes doing what it needs to do. I'm also seeing a huge opportunity that's coming in within the star. So something is about to happen within the star. Aquarius energy, major arcana. For those of you dealing with an Aquarius, I'm also seeing a three of cups in reverse. So not being sure if this is something that could be worked out. You know, you have the Three of Swords, you have the, the uh, 11 11 in reverse, the Nine of Cups in reverse, and plus you have the Three of Cups. You're you're feeling like you don't you're not sure if you and this person can move forward in the future. You're just not sure about this. If you and this person is able to move forward in the future, everything seems really dim right now. I mean, there is some kind of forgiveness, but you need to forgive yourself within the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Swords. I feel like within the Eight of Swords, there's no self-esteem. There's no self-value. There is only you just trying to not really focus on what's happening and all the red flags that you're receiving, all the signs, but refusing to see this is what I'm seeing and accepting this entrapment, imprisonment this manipulation okay these lies you're accepting that right now and i'm also seeing the moon here okay and the page of swords so there's a lot of gossip a lot of jealousy a lot of unfairness that is also being brought up within the situation i'm seeing pisces energy major arcana for those of you who are dealing with the pisces as well pisces energy coming up tell me more then you have the two of pentacles you have the three of pentacles three of pentacles in reverse two of pentacles i'm just seeing like this person is definitely going back and forth or juggling and they do not want to choose and you and this person is not seen eye to eye because you and this person wants different things this is what i'm being told here tell me more holy spirit tell me more you have a four of swords as well so you're pretty much trying to block this or trying to protect your state of mind this person is affecting you mentally this is what i'm seeing can i have more it's like you're waiting for some kind of information waiting for some kind of message or you're receiving too much messages and you're trying to protect yourself there is something coming in there's some news coming in i keep seeing news with these birds that are showing up as well um but i'm also seeing victory like you put a block to this person or a lot of you like like block this energy from coming in as well i'm seeing a blockage here okay i'm seeing a blockage hmm Let's see. I'm seeing a lesson that hasn't been learned as well. Tell me about this. I'm just seeing too many threes. So you have the three of swords, the three of pentacles, the three of cups. The, um, the only thing that I don't have is a three of wands. So you have three threes out of four elements. And that's a little bit too much for me. And all of them are in reverse. Okay. So there is something shady going on with the three of cups. There's friends. There's family. Could be on their side or your side. But it's something to do with your relationship. Okay. So this could be a third party. All right. That is just been hanging around you forgave this person but here it is again and i feel like you're seeing empty promises within the nine of cups energy and i'm also seeing that the nine of cups in the page of cups the page of swords excuse me empty promises okay nine of cups page of cup page of swords oh my god i keep saying the page of cups page of swords over here it's not all it's not just about jealousy. It's about gossip. It's about making promises. It's about telling you that they're going to do this and they're going to do that. I'm getting like Aquarius energy. For those of you, we are having Aquarius energy coming out here. So for, for those of you who are dealing with an Aquarius, I'm seeing that like someone is just on the move. Someone is making you very dizzy, very busy. Like one moment they're saying that they want to stay here. They want to build a family. And the next moment they want this, that, this. And you're like, hold on a second. Are we going to settle down or not? Like, you, you know, this person just has way too many dreams. You know, it's okay to have dreams, but it's just not okay to be all over the place. You have to be balanced. You know, you have to go after your dreams and have that balance within everything. Everything has to be balanced, right? So this is what I'm seeing here. 
like there's something coming up. There's something happening here. And then there is just no trust because the moon energy is like your intuition is picking things up within the moon and you need to listen to these situations because you feel like this person is just keeping secrets and they are because they're going back and forth with this. Something I'm seeing here is like this person is not making any choices, but I'm also seeing not wanting to make choices, you know, not wanting to make a choice to settle for something that they're not ready for. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. Two of Pentacles energy. What is this Two of Pentacles energy? What is this Two of Pentacles energy? What is this Two of Pentacles? All right, so we have the Hermit. So the Hermit is Virgo energy in reverse, okay? So this person is really putting your spirits down or making you feel very alone, okay? Because they're just not around. Tell me more. But yet, when you're trying to make things better for yourself here, this is where they try to come back. Tell me more. This is a chaser, okay? I feel like you're going to release this person out of your life because you have the Nine of Swords. Here it is. The Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, all Gemini's energy for those of you. This person stressed you out once before. This is what I'm getting with the Three of Swords in reverse. You release this energy. Now you have to close chapters. Now you have to work on yourself and get your power back i feel like financially you're getting that back but mentally oh your mind is just everywhere mentally okay know that you're the only one that is going to give you your desires of your heart you have to do that first before anyone can do that for you within your life because it's going to always be a cost okay all right so tell me about this nine of cups energy Holy spirit nine of cups in reverse you have the king of pentacles knowing that you're going to have that security even though it does look dim tell me about the four of wands energy in reverse four of wands you have the king of wands in reverse so the reason why your home is just off path right now or you feel like it's off path is because this person in you has some kind of conflict that they feel like they're just not strong enough to address or you're not strong enough to address. I'm just seeing walking around eggshells, but it's also about stubbornness. It's also about masculine energy. It's also about, you know, being in control here, but actually they're not in control. I'm seeing devastation. I'm seeing this person being defeated here. I'm seeing this person listening to other people, nonsense, and not being that leader that you thought they were going to be. Tell me about the three of cups, Holy Spirit, three of cups. We have the five of pentacles here. So what am I seeing about the five of pentacles? I feel like this three of cups energy and the reason why it ended, whether it is a third party situation or these are friends or family, obviously you're not dealing with these people anymore because they're shady. Something about these people are shady. You have not seen any value of, um, you know, abundance came into your life since you have been dealing with this particular person or these people they have just been giving you hardships whether it is just you know have your state of mind or it's just you know financially like someone is just coming in to ask you for something or ask you for help like these friendships could be business related like you know, it, it, they are friends with you only because you have a, a lot of followers or because you have a lot of a connections. Like this is why, you know, they weren't connected to you because of an emotional level and they really wanted to be there. It was more like a business arrangement or they look at you as a business arrangement. And now that you're going through hardships, OK, there are no where to be found. This is what I'm getting here. All right, so you're showing me that you're going through some form of hardships and they did not show up, but everything is going to work out fine. Look at that. You have the eight of wands. Good news is coming in for this. OK, you don't have to worry. The star are the star are aligning with this. I love the star. Um, I don't know if you can see it on the cards because this camera is a little bit different, but there's a lot of stars here with the wands. That's kind of like guiding the wands to you. All this information, all this crown chakra moment, all these, you know, light bulbs going in your head, all these creative things being unblocked and you're receiving a lot of like, OK, I can do this. I can do that. A lot of new, a new, more pr new perspective or direction like you're just 
whatever you're going through is like the universe is helping you to get out of this situation so tell me about the jealousy the page of swords wow the tower the tower it's crazy this person has jealousy okay so these are multiple people okay makes sense because the page of swords is usually a lot of different people it's like they're like going back and forth with their friends or family and telling them what's going on here but this person is in their feelings and they can talk to you about it so they're talking to other people about it and the reason why they're so in their feelings because they want to be vamp they want to um get back with you they want to resolve this five of wands energy and the five of wands energies other people trying to you know attack you on a physical level emotional level you know on a phys uh, whatever physical emotional verbal level it is this trying to attack you in some way and they allow this to happen and they allow them to feel like they have some kind of power because of the conversations that they were having behind your back this is all about the moon when you're walking in a room you just feel like something is off like conversation stops their mood stops and you just feel like they're doing something that they're not supposed to do your intuition is kicking in and now this person is trying to set boundaries with that because they're trying to build back with you okay they're trying to build back with you but will this work? That's the question. Tell me more. So we have Aries and Scorpio within the tower, Pisces within the moon, Major Arcana, Virgo energy within the Hermit. Tell me more. We have the Five of Cups energy as well. The Five of Cups. Hmm. You are definitely feeling some kind of way. I'm seeing like a low vibration here. I'm seeing tears. I'm seeing crying. I'm seeing devastation, sadness. I'm seeing like you're trying to forgive and you're trying to you're, um, mourn this situation. There's a lot of sorrows here. There's a lot of just a lot of dark patterns or energy. You can see a way out right now, but you do have a way out. Another thing that I'm realizing within this is that your heart is still with this person's energy. Your heart has not said that I want to move on from this situation. I'm seeing that within the five. You're trying to, you know, you're trying to do what you got to do, but your heart is still there. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune as well. So there is going to be some good things coming back into this. Um, I'm seeing lessons, lessons. This is what I'm getting. Like all of this, all of these five adversities, the five of cups. So emotionally, you weren't getting what you wanted or you were putting out. You have the five of pentacles. That's another low vibration. And then you have only thing that you don't have is a five of swords, which I'm very grateful for. Not, you know, that I don't see that as yet. But then you have the five of wands here. So it's just a lot of low adversities here that you're going through. Um, the only thing that I'm seeing that you're having a hard time with is the five of pentacles and the five of cups, because those are still showing up in a present moment. Like they're not being resolved as yet. Um, you're trying to forgive the situation and you're going to, this is going to be good. I'm also seeing messages again. Ooh, cards just fell, you guys. Cards just fell all over the place. Hold on, you guys. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Okay. Wow. Let me just turn this over here. So let's say, let me put this back a little bit. We can do that, right? We can do that. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. Let's see. You're going to let this go. I'm not seeing like you're going to be holding on to this situation, right? So you're going to let this go. I'm hearing selfishness due to selfishness. But in time, I feel like you have more lessons to learn with this person. I feel like this is about karma to balance in the scales. Okay. Tell me about this three of pentacles. Because the three of pentacles is also a lesson, you guys, that you guys are just not learning. I 
it's also about stability. I'm getting the king and the queen. Um, king of, ooh, you know what? Well, you have a couple of contracts here with this person. I feel like a lot of you are supposed to get married if you guys are married. I, we started off with that, the Ten of Pentacles energy, putting so much within this and, and, and building a life, but there is some kind of shadiness here. I'm also seeing being, being able to create with each other, but someone is being really shady with their creativity or they're being secretive with, you know, things that they have plans for, like, you know, like how... They got successful in certain things. They don't want to tell you, you know, it's like they're being very selfish. I'm just going to selfish way and you're really just open. <laughs> so a lot of you could be in the same field of work as well. I'm picking that up. I went to college together or this could be at work. You work together or this is how you met. Tell me about this four of swords. Ooh, contract confirmed because I was picking that up. And then I'm seeing all these contracts coming through, like the um, the Queen and King of Pentacles, the Queen and King of Wands. Okay, so, and then you have the Six of Cups, which this is about a past situation as well. And I feel like this is going where it's supposed to go. Because I'm seeing like the Six of Cups is in the upright. Like this is exactly how it's supposed to be. Um, there's a lot of things that you're learning from this person. Because I'm seeing a lot of transformations here within butterfly energy. So things are going how it's supposed to go. Let's see. And then you have that Six of Wands. Wow. Look at the victory. You know. It's like everything that you have lost or feel like you have lost. I'm hearing that you're going to be getting those things back. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Oh, look at that. The King of Cups. <laughs> this is about love, too. This is about an offer. This is about feelings. I do feel like this person loves you in their own way, but there is something holding this person back. This could be bitterness. This could be from the devil's energy because of their childhood. Um, this could be, you know, them stealing to get on top, and this is how they were raised. Um... And I'm just seeing a lot of negative force or energy with that magician. They could also believe in another God that you don't believe in, okay? Or they could praise something else that is totally what, what you don't believe in as well within this magician in reverse. The opposite of you on a spiritual level. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Okay. Wow. Look at that. You got the three. All threes here. The Three of Wands. This is, um, you feel like this victory is far away, but there is something coming towards you. I'm here to get prepared. Prepared. This is a, someone new coming towards you. The Two of Cups. Ooh, you're going to have options within the Three of Wands. Look at that. You're going to know exactly who you want to be with within the High Priestess, Cancer Energy. Um, <laughs> You're going to know. All right, so let's just see what the hidden secret is within this read. No contact energy. It's the hidden secret. What's going on? That Geminis have a feeling about with the high priestess. Obviously, your intuition is definitely on point because look, you have the high priestess plus you have the moon energy in the upright. It's not like it's in reverse. It's in the upright, you guys. So listen to your intuition. Tell me more. Tell me more about this, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. What is the energy? Let's see. Imprisonment. Someone wants to keep you trapped. Okay? And this is organized. Like, they're thinking about different ways to keep you trapped. Okay? Within this energy. It's very important. I'm seeing like you are the source. You are light. Um, you are their happiness, right? And they're trying to keep that. Wow, family. Yep. Family. Something about family here. I'm seeing that twice over. I'm seeing the contract. I'm seeing the home. Look at that. Look what it says. Look what it says. Home. What the hell? Because I said I'm seeing the contract. I'm seeing the home. And then home came out. 
So you are home. You are you are the person that this is for someone specifically who has a family with someone who works so hard to build this home. And when I say build, I'm saying like you can either buy a home together or a place, but you made it into a home together. You have a family and you this wasn't easy. This is what you're saying, because I'm seeing the Knight of Pentacles like you had to work your ass off for this you had to work i feel like a lot of you do have a good job because i'm seeing the nine of pentacles like you're there this wasn't a, a little job that got you here and then i'm seeing like you and this person could have similar backgrounds as well so and it's like a lot of stability here but at the same time this person has a dark side to them where the what is it the religion might be different. You might have different religions or different belief systems. This person is very stubborn. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Is this worth it? Is this worth it? Tell me what's the advice or anything that you need for us to know. Codependency is coming through. You also have let your friends help you. So a lot of you are not telling your friends or your family what's going on. You're ashamed. This is what I'm seeing here. You're making things look so beautiful on the outside, but on the inside. A lot of people don't even know that you're separated. Ooh, look at that. Separation. That's crazy. Cards are just coming out of my hand. Like what it is. All right. So yeah, you're just not letting them know that you're separated. It says let your friends help you separation codependency tell me more what is going on here tell me more what's the information stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance okay and i'm seeing a new relationship coming in you guys tell me more tell me more tell me more all right true love I feel like the true love that I'm seeing is a two of cups. You feel like it's a distance away. My stomach is rumbling. You feel like it's a distance away, but, but they're saying to be patient because it's closer than you think within the three of pentacles. Yeah, there's a distance, but it's a distance enough to this person to can see you or have their eyes on you. You know what I mean? It's not like they're totally far away from you. Like it's not, it, it, it can't happen. And I'm seeing victory, okay? But you feel like you want this now. You want this relationship now. A lot of you are going through a transition. You're going to need to heal. For those of you who are in a relationship and are married and you're thinking about divorce or you're thinking about separation, you need time. You can't be jumping in a relationship right now. You need time. This is what I'm seeing here. On the back of the deck, it says heart-to-heart -heart conversation. It also said honeymoon. Like you guys didn't have a honeymoon um a lot of you just got married and said okay we'll do this later um giving your relationship a chance so this is a, a cycle of going back and forth um this is a relationship that might just have unquieted love so basically whatever you feel or they feel yeah you have love for each other but it might not be enough to keep you guys together it's just a pretty sad situation and then you have love yourself first all right, so the angels are saying, choose yourself at this moment. Give this time. Let's just see what the Holy Spirit wants to reveal. What's the energy? What's the energy? What's this person's words? Let's see. Four gems. What this person wants to say for Gemini's. And I'm also seeing Gemini's, Virgo, um, Scorpio, okay, for those of you who are dealing with a Gemini like yourself or Virgo, uh, Scorpio, Aquarius, Major Arcana, I'm seeing um, Taurus, Leo, uh, the Wheel of Fortune, you have all your archangels here as well protecting you and guiding you, Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, Ariel. All for specific reasons to help you to grow spiritually, to help you to heal emotionally, to help you to continue to be strong and brave and um, to show you signs and lead you and guide you 
into making some form of right choice for yourself, okay? But they can't make the choice for you. They can show you signs and hopefully you take the heed, all right? It says, do you still think about me? Do you still want me? Do you still love me? I need to know if I should move on, dot, dot, dot. I am hurting, okay? This is what you're having from this person's energy. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What this person wants Gemini's to know. It says here, I'm learning how to love myself now thanks to you. Wow. Learning how to love myself now thanks to you. So this person never been in love before. This is what I'm getting here. Everything is new and this is why it's just so much for them. And they feel like they have to self-sabotage, you know, within the devil's energy because they feel like... You know, if they do something wrong, somebody comes back to them, that person is meant to be there for them or be with them because they feel like this person, the way they think is love hurts, okay? They don't think that love is, you know, painless and da-da-da-da. They feel like love is jealousy, love hurts, and that's just a toxic way of thinking. Anybody that comes up into your life, I kid you not, and tell you that love hurts and love is not beautiful you need to run because that means that's what they believe and that's what they're going to do all right so it says here i didn't know if my family was going to accept you so obviously <laughs> they have toxic family members <laughs> as well they're nothing like you they're cut from different cloths and they were ashamed of their family their friends and it's crazy because they're saying they didn't they didn't know. So obviously, it's like for those of you who met their family, it's like it went the opposite because they accepted you. But this person has something that is going on within themselves where they feel like they they don't want you to, to know their family or they felt like their family for some reason would not accept you for some reason. Like that is something that's going on within this person's mind. All right, so I'm I'm used to getting my way, but you put me in my place. So you're a very strong person, and I'm seeing that nine of pentacles, and you're showing up very empowered. So it's like you're not letting this person take your power or your identity, but you have the magician in reverse where there is some kind of horrible magic work that was happening. It's either they're planted negative seeds against you um, or... The, whatever they are praising it's like you you have some kind of fear about how they praise or who they praise um or who they believe in <laughs> on a spiritual level scares you okay um or you're just not sure about that but you feel like this person is just very negative and you worry about leaving your stuff around or what they might do to try to on a spiritual level you know keep you around i don't know i'm getting these crazy messages all right i ghosted you because it i ghosted you because it was getting too intense i didn't let people i'm sorry i don't let people in my life easily because i have trust issues wow I have trust issues. So they ghosted you. That's what they're saying. Or they stopped talking to you. So there's a gift. Here you are. Telepathic communication for those of you. Here you are. The high priestess. So you're hearing these per this person's thoughts. They're hearing the communication that they want to tell you when they can't tell you that in the physical realm. Like they can't use their body and, and talk to you and tell you how they truly feel. Um, but you're hearing them on a spiritual level. Like you're feeling them on a spiritual level. Like you're having discussions with them on a spiritual level. Um, so you have this gift. This is what I'm seeing. So can I have two more? Two more. And this person realized that like you have this gift. They know that you are nothing to play with on a spiritual level. So I feel like this is why both times when I saw the hermit, like they're trying to test you on a spiritual level okay and this is coming off really bad so addiction clouded my vision i'm trying to get my life together so this person has drug issues which is in the devil's energy you are different from the rest they didn't mean anything to me i only want you so obviously this person had many options with the seven of cups energy that we talked about earlier 
And um, this person is saying like they but remember, I told you there is a decision that is made with those options, but they didn't make it permanent. So it's like they're telling you like I choose you, I choose you, but they're not telling everybody else that, yeah, they made a choice and I choose this. I choose Gemini, you know, they're acting like it's like they're playing two sides. And this is why the two of pentacles is coming up in the upright like this person really does not want to make a choice but they will lie and deceive to make you think that they have chosen and chosen you i'm sorry i put my career before you i'm trying to get out of debt i'm willing to put in the time and effort now because i don't want to lose you okay and i feel like it's more than this i feel like they had other people before you honestly um they just did not have any time they couldn't balance themselves because the four of pentacles is what they were trying to give you and this is their time you know trying to be in control of their time trying to do things that they want to do um they but they want to do things but you can't plan with this person you have to ask for permission before you can proceed you know, like you have to ask them, so are you free today, tomorrow? Um, okay, and can I, can we make plans for seven o'clock? It's like you're making an appointment. And this is weird if you're married. Okay, if you were with someone, like a boyfriend, girlfriend, okay, cool. Then, of course, and you're not living together, then you got to find out if they're free, right? But if you're married, <laughs> I mean, and you live together, I mean, even when you're going to the store, I feel like married couple would be like, babe, I'm going to the store. <laughs> just to let you know, they just like, babe, I'm not going to come home tonight. Or I'm going to come home late. They like let you know what's going on. I don't feel like it's required in a relationship. But hey, just to keep track on each other in case something bad happens. You know, this is that's, I think is healthy a little bit, but uh, me, myself and I am pretty free, even though I'm a Scorpio, I don't like to keep track i just feel like you're gonna do what you're gonna do regardless i don't need to have where you've been where you're going da, 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 da. so as long as you just say hey i'm over here i believe it i don't have no questions about it but this right here this is why you're letting this person go because they don't have time for you something about time and it's because it's like i'm just getting other people i'm getting other people but let's see tell me about this fourth pentacles in reverse even this rebuild they want to rebuild with you but they don't have any time tell me about this holy spirit holy angels holy father what's this four of pentacles let's see the seven of wands being very guarded and very protective here we are keeping secrets <laughs> so it's funny it's very interesting on this picture you see a little that like fire energy back here right which is led by fire as well this is the wands i mean this is leo's energy but this person there is something going on back here and this person does not want you to see doesn't want you to go back there this could be war for goodness sake this could be everything falling down for goodness sake and this person is blocking the way <laughs> Like, you just feel like there's something off and this person won't let you in, okay? Won't let you in. They're saying they're trying to protect you from it, but they're also trying to protect themselves. I'm seeing the four of cups. This is what I'm talking about. Like, you're doing everything, but your heart, you're doing things on a physical level where you're trying to move on. But on your heart level, you're still there because you're still waiting for this person to give you a rose. You see that rose in the four of cups? You're still waiting for this person to give you that offer. I'm seeing separation on the back, the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So this is what I have for you, Gems. I hope that it resonates. If it does, you guys, go ahead and like this video here on the white tee. Um, make sure you guys are sharing or commenting down below in the description box as well. I mean, not in the description box, in the comment section. Um, be nice to each other, love each other, support each other, help each other to heal. The likes do help push this videos into a huge audience so the video can grow, so the channel can grow. And yeah, if you guys want a personal reading as well to take it further, we do have a $55 offer, which is 15 minutes as well. So hit me up at the same tarot. I 
gmail.com for that and i will see you guys in your next one bye guys